Since ancient times, people noticed bright-tailed stars appeared in the sky just as suddenly as they disappeared. Today, we know that these were not stars. They were comets. A comet is a small celestial body the size of an average city, which consists of ice, rock, and frozen gases. It rushes out of the dark depths of space remaining invisible for a long time. But when this dirty snowball approaches the sun, it gets heated and forms a bright trail of dust and gas that can stretch for millions of miles. Some comets, like planets, orbit the sun over a period of a few years, but most of them need hundreds, thousands, and even millions of years. For example, the brightest comet of the last century, Kaobach, won't come back to us for 2,000 years. Meet Venus, the second planet from the Sun. It is very similar to the Earth. It too has an atmosphere, and it is roughly the same size and weight. But unlike other planets, Venus rotates in the opposite direction, and very slowly. The surface of Venus is hidden under a thick layer of clouds and scientists have sent a research apparatus to study it. It flew there for a whole four months, but couldn't even hold out for two hours. The device exploded in the atmosphere, because the pressure on Venus is almost 100 times greater than on Earth. Also, Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system, because a thick, 20-kilometer layer of clouds of sulfuric acid and a dense atmosphere of carbon dioxide keep in the sun's rays, creating a greenhouse effect. Over there, on Venus, it is always twilight, and acid rain is constantly falling, with raging hurricanes and lightning storms and erupting volcanoes. In the midst of the vast number of stars and galaxies, there is a tiny blue dot. It is our home, the planet Earth. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun, and for now, the only known place that has life. The Earth rotates on its axis. That is why we see day change to night. This axis is tilted and is always pointed in one direction, towards Polaris. Because of this tilt, the Earth positions its sides toward the Sun differently in each season. When solar rays fall straight, it gets hotter and summer comes. If the rays fall at an angle, the heat is lower and winter comes. Significant areas of our planet are covered with oceans. The largest of them is the Pacific Ocean, and it is bigger than all the continents combined. The Earth is inhabited by millions of species. Underwater, on the ground, and in the air, and they are all connected with each other. Our home is a fragile organism and we should treat it very carefully. In the midst of the vast number of stars and galaxies, there is a tiny blue dot. It is our home, the planet Earth. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun, and for now, the only known place that has life. The Earth rotates on its axis. That is why we see day change to night. This axis is tilted and is always pointed in one direction, towards Polaris. Because of this tilt, the Earth positions its sides toward the Sun differently in each season. When solar rays fall straight, it gets hotter and summer comes. If the rays fall at an angle, the heat is lower and winter comes. Significant areas of our planet are covered with oceans. The largest of them is the Pacific Ocean, and it is bigger than all the continents combined. The Earth is inhabited by millions of species. Underwater, on the ground, and in the air, and they are all connected with each other. Our home is a fragile organism, and we should treat it very carefully. Hey kids, here's the Earth, and that's the moon, the satellite of the Earth. That means that it goes around the Earth. That's why we see it travel across the sky, day and night. Though it seems like you can reach it with your hand, it's actually really far away. If we decided to walk to it, it would take us almost 10 years. 
Or if we took a spaceship, it would only take a day. The Earth is 80 times heavier than the Moon. But things on the Moon are six times lighter, so you can easily lift a cow or jump very high. Unlike the Earth, the Moon doesn't have any atmosphere, so it's a little weird there. There's no air. You can't hear sounds, and it gets freezing cold when in the shadow and steaming hot in the sunlight. But in spite of all those problems, the first human lunar colony is only 15 years away. You can come too if you want. This is Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system and one that is closest to the sun. In size and appearance, it is similar to the moon. Perhaps a long time ago, it used to be a satellite of Venus. Mercurial daily life looks rather strange. One day lasts over two years. The sun is three times bigger than it is on the Earth. And during the day, it changes its size and can even move in different directions. Such a long day leads to extremely hot temperatures on the surface. And at night, with no heat or atmosphere, it becomes terribly cold. But at a depth of only three feet, this difference is not felt, and the temperature always remains the same. The best time to see Mercury is in the evening when it is just above the horizon. At this time, it shines brighter than all the stars in the sky, but soon disappears following the sun. Such a wonderful warm day. That is all because of a small but very bright circle in the sky, the sun. The sun is a star that is very, very far away from us. It is so huge that it weighs 700 times more than all the planets together. And so hot, it can melt a diamond. Because it's so heavy, the sun is pulling on all of the planets and is making them rotate around it. It takes our planet 365 days to make a full circle. That's one year. The sun is the main source of energy for all life on Earth, and we wouldn't be here without it. There are trillions of stars just like the sun in the universe. Many of them have planetary systems just like ours. And maybe on one of them, there is life. Let's meet our closest neighbor, Mars. A Martian year is almost twice as long as on the Earth. That means that it takes Mars twice the time it takes the Earth to go around the Sun. Just like the Earth, Mars has a satellite. Actually, two of them. Two huge, gigantic stones. Every hundred years, one of them, Phobos, gets six feet closer to Mars and will eventually fall on the planet. Boom! The surface of Mars is covered with reddish dust. That's why it's called the Red Planet. It has volcanoes. The biggest one is called Olympus, and is three times bigger than our Mount Everest. It is the biggest volcano in the entire solar system. To learn more about Mars, people have sent robots. These rovers take all kinds of samples and pictures of the planet. Perhaps someday, this distant red dot in the sky will become our new home. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun, and the second largest planet in the solar system. It belongs to the so-called gas giants, which consist mainly of various gases and do not have a solid surface. If you could put Saturn into water, it would float to the surface because hydrogen and helium, which make up a large part of the planet, are lighter than water. Saturn is famous for its rings, which consist of a large number of ice particles, ranging in size from specks of dust to a three-story house. To ride along one of the rings in a car, we would need a long journey over a year. At the same time, 
The rings are so thin that if we were on the equator of Saturn, we would not even notice them. Saturn, also known as Lord of the Rings, is the farthest planet that can be seen with the naked eye. For a long time, people thought there were only six planets, because they are easy to see in the night sky. Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, was discovered much later with the telescope, and named after the Greek god of the sky, Zeus's grandfather. Unlike other planets, Uranus rotates on its side. Presumably, it got this tilt from a collision with a large body, the size of Earth. Like Saturn, it has rings, but they are dark and do not reflect light. Together with its brother Neptune, Uranus forms a group of so-called ice giants. Because of their distance from the sun, light and heat that come to the surface are so scarce that even during the day there is twilight and it is terribly cold. Right in the sky shines Jupiter. It doesn't emit light of its own, just like the moon. It only reflects the sunlight. Jupiter is the largest and the heaviest planet of the solar system. It has 67 satellites. The largest of them is even bigger than Mercury. You can't land on Jupiter because it's almost entirely made of gas. Every revolution around its axis takes only 10 hours. This crazy speed causes different atmospheric phenomena, such as hurricanes and storms. One of these hurricanes is the Big Red Spot. It is bigger than the Earth and has lasted for hundreds of years. That's Jupiter, bright and blustering. For a long time, people thought there were only six planets, because they are easy to see in the night sky. Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, was discovered much later with the telescope, and named after the Greek god of the sky, Zeus's grandfather. Unlike other planets, Uranus rotates on its side. Presumably, it got this tilt from a collision with a large body, the size of Earth. Like Saturn, it has rings, but they are dark and do not reflect light. Together with its brother Neptune, Uranus forms a group of so-called ice giants. Because of their distance from the sun, light and heat that come to the surface are so scarce that even during the day there is twilight and it is terribly cold. Such a wonderful warm day. That is all because of a small, but very bright circle in the sky, the sun. The sun is a star that is very, very far away from us. It is so huge that it weighs 700 times more than all the planets together, and so hot it can melt a diamond. Because it's so heavy, the sun is pulling on all of the planets and is making them rotate around it. It takes our planet 365 days to make a full circle. That's one year. The sun is the main source of energy for all life on Earth, and we wouldn't be here without it. There are trillions of stars just like the sun in the universe. Many of them have planetary systems just like ours. And maybe on one of them, there is life. After the discovery of Uranus, it took 60 years and a small area of its orbit to notice that there was an unknown object affecting its trajectory. This is the way Neptune, the eighth planet of the solar system, was first predicted and later discovered. A year on Neptune lasts for 168 Earth years. Since its discovery, only one year has passed on Neptune. Neptune is 30 times farther away from the sun than our planet, so it is very cold there. Neptune's atmosphere is primarily composed of hydrogen, gradually turning into the liquid ocean and ice. This is followed by the red hot mantle and core. 
The winds on Neptune are the strongest in the solar system. Their speed sometimes exceeds 2,100 kilometers per hour. Neptune is still unexplored and holds a lot of surprises for discoverers. Thank you.